two videos ago in part one of my DMX LED light series, the LED port was assembled and its thermal performance was evaluated. The graph shows how the temperature of the PCB easily exceeded 70 degrees Celsius when running at only 20 watts without any active fan cooling. I'd prefer to be able to run the light at 60 degrees or below without having to use any active cooling, which is what we'll be looking at in this short video. Therefore I got hold of this bigger heatsink and started cutting it to a suitable length. It has a larger surface area and is overall just more hefty, letting it conduct more heat away from the LEDs and the PCB. To be able to mount it to the PCB, I drilled and tapped a M3 hole in the center of the heatsink. Let's mount it and test it using the onboard temperature sensor, as shown in the last video. I have just made two measurements around 20 watts to verify how much cooler this bigger heatsink can keep the PCB. Just about 10 degrees cooler at 20 watts, which gets the temperature just below 60 degrees Celsius. This is acceptable and I can now move on to building the driver board. See you in the next video where we will be continuing my metal cube series.